Hey YouTube, today I'm going to do a video on a SPIM 08 HP bank and what I've built here is a 96 amp hour bank. So these cells have a wide sock range and preferably you'd want to charge them 15 to 16 volts. They will work a little lower but you have to overbuild your bank in order to do so. Uh, I have the balancer set up here. It's not actually hooked up, but I get a ton of questions about where do my balance wires go? Well, here's a typical Helltech balancer. Got your negative, B1, B2, B3, B4. So, these would go to this bar, that bar down there, this bar. That bar down there, this bar. So, if you want to do a balancer, that's how you do it. Anyways, uh, we use the factory bars that they sell with these banks for the end plates. And we did this one with the silver plate on top and this one with the copper plate to help denote which one's positive and negative. They come with these holders, you can buy the threaded rod, and this whole bank, including balancer, cost me about $330. Balancers from SuricoBatteries.com, discount code AUDIO, or no, discount code BS, BDSB. Uh, the cells, they come from battery hookup, and that's discount code AUDIO. Um, Project DB also makes bars for these, so if you want to use Project DB bars instead of making your own, uh, hit them up and they are discount code AUDIO for Project DB. Anyways, uh, I'll get to the build video here and enjoy. Hey YouTube, today putting together uh, SPIM 08 HP lithium battery bank uh, this one is 6p or 4s 6p so it's 4 in series 6 in parallel and you can see the first link bar here is 12 spots and the end bar there is 6 spots And this is the negative end. We did uh, the silver metal on this side. And then for the positive end, we have a copper top bar to denote that it's positive. So uh, now we're gonna go ahead and put the next six cells on and the next 12 bar that goes here. All right, so we went ahead and put the threaded rods in through the 3S part, and we're gonna go ahead and add the fourth in series. And we're gonna slide the rods through and hold them together. All right, next bar, next bar, and then one more bar after that. So this is our negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, 
and this will be our positive terminal. All right, so we got the next bar on, and we use the little plastic shim between the bars while we're putting it together, just in case, so you don't arc out. That's a good idea. Use shims and spacers to keep your bars from arcing. little space there yet. Tighten up. Cool. Yeah, so what we did <coughs> was doubled up the copper bar over here, and then on this side, we used the silver bar so that you can tell easily which one's negative and positive. No gaps, no wires. Then we heard boom from the amplifiers. <laughs> 